All right, we're going to show you how to use the HC3800 from Ohio Brewing Technologies to make beer. This is an informational video showing the steps used to make beer. We're not actually going to brew a batch right now. We also have another video showing how our software works, and that is a separate one from this video. So what we're going to do now is begin by heating up our strike water. For example, some recipes call for a single infusion mash at 153 degrees. Based on the results of our strike temperature calculator, we will need to heat the water to 163 in order to hit that target. So we will enter that into the software now. Elect Electricity is dangerous. Shouldn't we be using propane? Any form of energy you use for cooking is dangerous if you don't take proper precautions. I mean, propane can leak and explode, a hot flame can cause burns or start a fire. Electricity carries shock and fire hazards, too. We have some details on our website about comparisons of electricity and propane. Also, make sure you read and understand your HC3800 user manual because it contains important safety precautions. No matter how you choose to brew, we want you to be safe when you do it. So, this is our hot liquor tank. It is a kegel fitted with an electric heating element. We have 40 quarts of water in there. If the recipe calls for 36 quarts, there will be some left in the bottom that, might not, that the valve may not reach. But well, you're going to heat up all 40 quarts. Right. I will tell the software that it will be heating 40 quarts. The HC3800 software figures out how much energy that will take. If I want, I could just measure the temperature with a thermometer, or I could guess it. What I'm going to do instead is use this temperature probe, which is an accessory to the HC3800, to measure the temperature of the water. The software will do the rest of the work for us. All I really had to tell it was how much water I have and what temperature I want. Okay, can I start now? Yeah, hit the heat button in the software. Okay, now you can see that we have uh, the heating light came on, and you can see some bubbles coming off the heating element. Look, it shows here how much time is left and what the temperature is. You'll need to stir the water with something in order to get the best temperature measurement. It's common to develop hot spots and your temperature probe might not be in one. Okay, it should almost be done. There's just a few seconds left. Okay, I'm stirring it up. How did we do? 3 and 163. I think you got it. Excellent. Now, if we were really making beer, we would put this into our mash tun. So you can see, this was very easy to do without using propane. Just please be safe when you brew, whether you use propane or electricity.